Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is on this very soft green eyeshadow look. I wanted to do something with a little bit of color, so I decided to go for green. The first thing that we're going to start off is with the moisturizer and also my lip balm. Um, right here I don't show the clip where I apply the moisturizer on my forehead, but I promise you that I did. The lip balm that I'm using is by Marc Jacobs. I will have all of the products that I use in the description box. I'm going to do my eyebrows and bam, they are done really fast. I wish it was that fast. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly just to eliminate the different colors that I have on my eyelids because they're not one solid color. And I'm going to be using this nude shade all over my eyelid first because I want to set the primer that I used. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just setting the primer. The next color that I'm going to use is this very, very light brown and I'm going to use that as my transition shade and so that way everything looks very soft. I don't want to do anything too dark. This is pretty much an everyday type of look but just using a little bit of color. I'm going back with the light shade that I used at the beginning and I'm going to pack that on my eyelid because I want that to look very, very bright and I like the look of it. So that is what I'm doing there. Make sure to pack it on and then make sure to blend it out. The next color is the green one and this is the fun color. I'm going to be going back and forth with this color. I'm going to do a little bit of the green blending it out and then I'm going to add more and I'm going to keep blending it out because I really want it to show up but I don't want it to be just like bam I have green. I really want it to look soft so that is what I'm going to be doing there. By the way guys, I recently waxed my eyebrows and I of course waxed the middle section. Even though I don't have a lot of growth there, like hair growth there, I still like to wax it just to make it look clean. And I completely broke out. So I'm wondering, what do you do whenever you break out, whenever you use wax? Usually I clean my eyebrows with the tweezers as much as I can, but whenever I feel like they're not clean enough anymore and they're not looking good with the tweezers, I go ahead and I wax. I know this is way out of the tutorial but I'm just asking what do you do whenever you break out with the wax let me know in the comment section I would love to hear your suggestions so let's go back to the tutorial I am still blending out because like I said I want it to look soft and you can do this with any color so it doesn't have to be green you can do this with any color it could be purple it could be burgundy it could be anything you want and I promise you that it will be a very wearable look again I'm packing on the light color also in the inner corner because I want that to look very bright here I'm using the same color that I used on my eyelids for the brow bone highlight. Next is time for foundation. I'm going to be using my brush and this is the new CoverGirl foundation and I'm applying that all over my face. I actually like the turnout of the foundation now. At first I, I don't remember if it was this one or not but this one works out great. Like I told you guys in previous videos some of the ones that say luminous on them just do not look luminous but this one really does. I love the turnout. I love the way that it looks and that's what I'm doing. I'm just blending it out, buffing it in, making sure that it looks well blended. Next I'm going to do the concealer and I'm going to apply that as a highlight. So this one is also by Maybelline and I love this concealer. Then I'm going to not set it. I was about to say set it. I'm going to blend it out with my foundation brush and then I'm going to pick up my beauty blender just to make sure that it's a little bit more blended out. To give my skin more brightness, I'm using the Brightener by Maybelline and it is the Age Rewind. And I'm going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. I love this brightener. It is awesome. You guys should definitely try it out. I'm going to set everything with my MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder. I'm using that all over my face and then I'm going to pick up this small brush and set my under eyes. It works out great for both so I use it. I'm also using this NARS eyeliner for my waterline and then this NYC Liquid eyeliner that I have been using over and over again. I love it. I was using all the time the Lorac, the pencil type of eyeliner and even though I love that it's easy to use, I missed using one of these and I decided to pick this one up because I needed another one. I needed a new eyeliner since the other one's running out and I love it. So you should
should definitely try it out. Now I'm going to be going back to the light brown shade. I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line and at the same time blending it out with this very short fluffy brush. Then I'm going to pick up the green one and do the exact same thing as well as blending it out so that way you can't see the difference between the two colors. Next I'm going to be doing the contour and I'm using the Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to apply that on the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, around my hairline and just everywhere where I usually do the contouring. To blend out the contour a little bit more, I'm going to use the brush that I used for powder and just blend it out just so that it doesn't look harsh. And then I'm going to go in with this uh, blush by Lorac. It's called Soul. I love it. It's a great kind of a purpley, pinky uh, blush and I love the way that it looks. That's the one that I'm using. And again, I'm going to blend that out a little bit with the brush that I used for powder. This is the NARS Albatross Highlighter and I'm going to apply that on the highest points of my face, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I am going to be using these falsies today. I don't know the name of them. I do have the number only, but I don't know where my sister got them from. She gave them to me and I wish I knew because I love them and I need more. This is the nude lipstick that I decided to wear by Wet n Wild, but it's too nude for me, so I decided to go over it with the peachy lip lacquer by Rimmel. This is the complete look. I hope you guys liked it. I love the way that it turned out just because I know that I can wear colors on my eyes without it looking too drastic. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!